Here we have one of my favorite budget microphones, the Behringer B2 Pro. Now the unit you're looking at now is one that I've actually used for probably around eight years. So it looks a little bit beat up, but it still performs very well. So this is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. It's actually a dual diaphragm with a one inch diaphragms in there. It's a pretty hefty mic. It feels good, uh, uh, feels good uh, overall, nice and sturdy. And we have different pickup patterns here. So we have our cardioid, which of course would be you know, addressing just the front here. Now this is a side address microphone. You don't address the uh, the front, you address this, the sides here. And then we have the figure eight pattern, which of course you'll be able to pick up sounds from the, say the front and, and the back, also known as bi-directional. And then we have omni-directional, which will pick up sounds around the front and the sides and the rear at all about, you know, about the same gain level. Then we have a 10 dB roll off. That you can turn on or off if you have a, a very high signal coming in. And you also have a bass roll off. So you can roll off the low end if something is producing a lot of uh, a lot of low end. To plug in this microphone, of course, you will use an XLR cable and you of course will also need phantom power. Very nice for a microphone in the range of about $150. It also comes with a shock mount, which is always nice to have included, a basic wind screen, and a case is included as well, all for, you know, 150 bucks or so. Uh, this microphone is great for YouTube videos, podcasting. It also works equally as well for recording, say, acoustic guitar or, you know, tons of other things that you want to record without worrying about dropping a uh, seven, $800 microphone. You know, I've put this up against seven, $800 microphones and the B2 Pro stays right up there with them. Maybe a little more EQing will be needed uh, in post, but uh, this microphone, I, I highly recommend this microphone. If you, you know, if you want a microphone that sounds good, but doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So let's head over to Pro Tools and see how it actually sounds. Here we are in Pro Tools and what we have is four different samples. The ones on top are raw, the ones on bottom are processed, same exact samples. The processed samples were processed with Isotope Nectar 2, and that's because Isotope Nectar 2 contains everything you need to make a professional sounding voice track. I'm talking things like EQ, gates, de compressors, limiters, so on and so forth. The only thing that has been done to the raw samples is that the volume has been raised. They have not been matched to the processed samples, but raised just to make it a little bit easier to actually uh, hear what's going on because for example if these came in at their raw level the b2 pro is a large and then they went into the processed the behringer b2 pro it wouldn't make much sense for you to have to keep you know adjusting your volume up and down so that's why we have raised the volume of our raw samples here but other than that there's no processing on the raw samples so with all of that said let's go ahead and listen to the behringer b2 pro the behringer b2 pro from around one foot away. The B2 Pro is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro from around one foot away. The B2 Pro is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro from around six inches away. A large diaphragm microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice, the quality of the voice. Is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers, for your YouTube videos, for your narration, or for your podcast? Again, from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro from around Six inches away, a large diaphragm microphone. Listen to the sound of the voice, the quality of the voice. Is this the sound of voice you would like for your voiceovers, for your YouTube videos, for your narration, or for your podcast? Again, from around six inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time around three to four inches away, but we have an air conditioner on in the background to get an idea of sound that might be picked up in a room. And we're also typing on a keyboard to hear the background noise with the voice. Get an idea of how a large diaphragm condenser is very sensitive to its surroundings. The Behringer B2 Pro large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time around three to four inches away, but we have an air conditioner 
on in the background to get an idea of sound that might be picked up in a room. And we're also typing on a keyboard to hear the background noise with the voice. Get an idea of how a large diaphragm condenser is very sensitive to its surroundings. The Behringer B2 Pro large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. The Behringer B2 Pro, this time from around two to three inches away from this large diaphragm condenser microphone, you can definitely start hearing this microphone open up as you start to get closer, like we are two to three inches away. I can even come even closer to this microphone, get around one inch away, and it really opens up. You can take advantage of that proximity effect, get that enhanced low end, and basically get that sort of radio voice very easily once you really start to get closer to a large diaphragm microphone like the Behringer B2 Pro. Again, the Behringer B2 Pro, a large diaphragm condenser microphone. And there we have it. That is the Behringer B2 Pro, several samples, raw samples, process samples, all from different distances away to give you an idea if this microphone would be right for you and your podcast or your narration or voiceovers or YouTube videos.